everyone welcome back to my channel this is crystal and in today's video i'm going to review this blur stick from caroline and this is how the blur stick looks like i got this one from watson's for only 199 pesos and it says here better than basics actually this product has been around for a while now but it's just just yesterday that i got this so this is how the packaging looks like very simple they have highlighter stick blush stick contour stick and this one they all come in the packaging very similar to this i'm not sure if this is a new formula but when i watched some reviews of this online i saw that their blur stick has like a glossy top layer first but this one is uh matte like i don't need to remove any top layer or anything like that it just looks matte Say goodbye to pores with Caroline Blur Stick. Swipe on and blend with fingers to get instantly smooth uh, looking skin. Use it alone or under your base. I've seen some girls review this and they apply this all over their face as a face primer. But I think that is not the way to use it. But just personally, I will not use this all over my face because it's just called a blur stick. So you're just supposed to apply this on areas where you look oily and where you have pore skin. In my case, I have a lot of pores like on my cheeks and on my nose. So I already swatched this today and it actually feels kind of thick and which is nice. This one also has a silicone texture so I'm not sure it has silicone in it but I look oily on my forehead and on my nose bridge and here. But I'm not going to use this all over my face because I feel like the way to use a blur stick is apply it only where you need it. So I'm going to apply this on my forehead. So already you can see that it blurred out the pores on my forehead. I'm gonna apply this on my nose. So as you can see, my nose looks shiny. And I'm going to apply it there. Yeah, that definitely mattified my nose. And I'm also going to apply this on my cheeks. And on the sides of my nose. You can use this alone or you can use this under your foundation. But I personally will not use this alone. I think I will use this always under foundation. The purpose of blur sticks like this is to fill in your pores with something so when you apply your foundation it just looks more smooth and poreless. A little bit of this product goes a long way. Like I'm trying to rub this on my face and I still don't see any dent. Formula is a little hard. The formula is not something super creamy that's very easy to melt. Okay. Okay, so I think I was able to fill in all my pores. Now all I have to do is just blend it in with my finger. Yeah, it has a silicone texture for sure. And I don't see why some people say it's hard to blend because honestly, like not having a difficulty. I actually really like the texture of this because it's not super light to the point that it's just easy to wipe away from your face. If you are using a primer like this, make sure to blend it in because you're supposed to fill in your pores, your fine lines. And if you want to add more, you can if you feel like your skin absorbed most of it. Feel free to add more because it's just going to fill in your pores even more. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm really someone who needs a product like this because usually my pores are very clogged since I wear a lot of makeup. So this product will really help if it's really effective. Alright guys, so this is how it looks like without foundation yet. And if you're planning to go out without any makeup at all, but you want to cover your pores as well as give that blurring effect on your skin, this is actually a really nice product because you can just go out looking like this because it looks super natural. Becca Cosmetics came out with like a no pigment foundation there you go so it's like something very similar to this a lot of people are saying that it's just like a blurring primer for your face and for your pores for foundation i was going to use the maybelline matte and poreless foundation but it says poreless so this already has something that blurs your pores so that is just going to defeat the purpose of this review instead i'm going to use my wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade golden beige this is one of my favorite foundations even though I have not blended out the foundation yet, I have a strong feeling that this is going to be a nice product because I can already feel by just um, applying it and blending it that it's definitely not like one of those primers that do nothing for my face. I feel like it's really going to do something. 
kind of reminds me of my Catrice um, Prime and Fine um, Primer. So I'm just gonna blend this in. Okay, I noticed something. This doesn't always happen without this blur stick, but whenever I apply my foundation on my nose, you can definitely see the pores on my nose. But, but since I already applied the blur stick underneath this foundation, it just filled in those pores and now like I can't see the pores on my nose anymore. Wow, that's actually a good sign. I think it's working so far. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's definitely doing something right now. Um, like wh while I'm blending my foundation, I don't see my pores. And usually I see them very clear, especially if I'm just applying my foundation. And normally I hide my pores by... I try to pat the foundation into my pores so they don't look like large. But right now, I really really don't see my pores at all. And um, the good thing about this primer, it stops the foundation from clogging your pores. And sometimes when your pores are clogged with foundation, you can definitely see the spots of like foundation inside your pores. But this one definitely blurred out my pores, guys. It's a really good primer for sure. Here is how my skin looks like up close. You guys be the judge. Like, I know my skin and I see myself every single day when I do my makeup. Um, definitely on normal days when I still didn't have this blur stick, I will definitely see pores on my cheeks and on my nose. And sometimes foundation gets very clumpy on those areas, but it looks very smooth right now. My skin is... I think I found a really good affordable blur stick. I know that Milk Makeup has like their version of blur stick as well, but that one's a little bit tinted. Elf has one as well, and there's so many different brands that make like blur sticks like this. But this one is only 199 and it works really well. One of my problems when I am doing my foundation is when I can see my pores. Because there are a lot of foundations that really just emphasize your pores even more. But wow, I'm actually really impressed with this product. And I think I used it correctly because I didn't apply this all over my face. I just use this on areas where I really do need it. Like my T-zone, that's where my pores are usually clogged. So they look a little bit more enlarged in those areas. But I'm actually really super impressed with this product so far. Definitely it blurs your pores and fills it in and preparing your skin for foundation application. It's very comparable to a lot of high-end blur sticks. And I noticed that this is better than the Maybelline Baby Skin or eraser is that what it's called that product really didn't do much for me like I tried using that on my pores but the mainly baby skin pore eraser didn't really do anything to my skin yeah it will mattify my skin for a while but I feel like it's the texture is very lightweight that it just wipes off very easily so when I'm already applying my foundation it's just going to like fade away but this one has, has the capability to fill in your pores and as well as stay and stick there. So I really like it because of the consistency, very thick, kind of pasty texture. So I'm really very impressed with that. It's very affordable and I really do recommend this. So if you guys are looking for a really good blur stick, go ahead and get the one from Caroline. They have the multi-stick, they have highlighter. And uh, they also have a contour stick. I might get the contour stick very soon. So yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this. If you have any products in mind that you want me to review, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you want me to do like a full face of Caroline makeup products, let me know. That is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you guys again next time.